All right, so BSG just added DLSS4 to escape from Tarkov, but there's a catch. They're using an older preset configuration, so it's actually not the latest version of DLSS4. Specifically, it's preset D. That means it's missing out on Nvidia's new transformer model. So even with the update, you might not be getting the best possible visual quality and performance. In this video, I'll break it all down by comparing Tarkov's new DLSS4 implementation versus preset K, which is the latest and most optimized version. We'll look at visual quality, FPS differences, and I'll show you why I think you should still be using the NVIDIA app override instead of the in-game version. Let's get into it. So I think most players expected BSG to implement the latest version of DLSS 4 because you can already enable it manually using NVIDIA's DLSS override function in the NVIDIA app. Something I covered in a previous video. If you want a full breakdown, definitely go check that out with the link in the upper right hand corner. But here's the TLDR. NVIDIA has been constantly improving DLSS with new presets that enhance clarity, reduce ghosting, and maintain high performance. The biggest change recently, presets J and K replaced the older CNN or convolutional neural network model with the new transformer model. This updated model has twice the parameters in its algorithm, making it much better at understanding the scene and producing a cleaner, sharper image. And the results speak for themselves. In my opinion, the transformer model in DLSS 4 is so good that it actually makes the game look better than native resolution on TAA High. I use it daily, not just for the improved visuals, but also for the added performance boost and reduced GPU load. So let's take a look at some side-by-side -side comparisons of preset D, Tarkov's in-game DLSS versus preset K, which is the latest version you can enable manually, and you can see the differences for yourself. So for these tests, I did runs on Customs and Woods. First, I'll show you the gameplay in native resolution, then in DLSS with preset D and preset K. After that, I'll break down the FPS number for each setting. Before the DLSS override was released for Tarkov, I always thought that native resolution with TAA high was the best for visual quality. DLSS was mainly a tool to boost performance or move up a level from your GPU's native resolution with only a minor trade-off in visuals for more performance. Even DLSS 2 impressed me back in the day, but with the new override using DLSS 4 preset K, Nvidia has truly given Tarkov players a gift. The visual quality with preset K is so remarkable that it actually looks better than native resolution in my my opinion. The image is cleaner and sharper even in performance mode and DLSS 4 preset K outshines native settings to me. Not only do you get superior visuals but you also benefit from improved performance and a lower GPU load since it upscales from a lower resolution to produce enhanced visuals. Overall DLSS 4 preset K has a slightly higher performance hit than preset D when comparing the same modes. However the significant boost in visual fidelity means that even in performance mode preset K actually Actually looks better than preset D does in quality mode. So essentially you get to run the game at a lower setting but still achieve better visuals and performance than before. For me, the biggest improvement with the new version is how it handles object edges. With the older preset D, textures tend to become slightly softer and wires and fences might even flicker a bit. In contrast, preset K retains more sharpness without over sharpening or introducing artifacts, resulting in much cleaner and crisper outlines. That being said, I did notice one minor downside on maps with foliage like woods or shoreline. There is a subtle shimmer or flickering in the distance, particularly on trees and shadows. It's not a huge issue for me and personally the benefits far outweigh this drawback, but I did want to mention it so you know what to expect. Alright, so I'm going to let the rest of the comparison footage of the different DLSS modes play out here for Customs and then Woods. After that, I'll break down the FPS numbers and what they mean for performance. Feel free to use the timestamps below to skip ahead if you want to jump straight to the analysis after checking out some of the comparisons.
All right, so you saw the visual differences. Now, what about the frames? When comparing the same modes between preset D and preset K, preset K actually gets lower numbers, as you can see. However, even in performance mode, which is the lowest mode available for 1440, preset K looks better than preset D in quality mode, which is the highest mode available. Essentially, you're getting superior visual quality at a lower setting. What does this mean? Not only do you get crisper visuals, but you can also potentially see a significant performance boost over native resolution, depending on your GPU and settings, of course. Plus, because it's rendering at a lower resolution and then upscaling, it puts less strain on your GPU. So you get both improved visual quality and better performance overall. It's a win-win. A common question I've been seeing recently is, is it actually safe to use the NVIDIA app override to enable DLSS 4 preset K? There's been some concern about a dev mentioning that using external tools could lead to a ban. However, I believe this was referring to people using DLSS Swapper before the override was officially available in the NVIDIA app. As of driver 572.16, Escape from Tarkov is officially whitelisted on NVIDIA's website and the override option is included in the latest version of the NVIDIA app. From what I understand, NVIDIA needs developer approval before adding a game to this whitelist. That's actually why I held off on trying it until it was officially supported. I really didn't want to risk using DLSS Swapper when it was still a gray area in terms of TOS compliance. I've now been using the override for a couple of weeks with no issues. I'm not banned. Of course, use it at your own risk, but based on everything I've seen, I'd say it's probably safe to do so. If you're really worried, don't use it and I'll let you know if I get banned. Another common question I see is why don't I have the DLSS performance mode option? I only see balanced. This comes down to your in-game resolution. At 1080p, balanced is the lowest available setting. Once you move up to 1440, performance mode becomes an option. And at 4K, you'll see ultra performance mode. Basically, this is because DLSS requires a minimum base resolution. So the higher your in-game resolution, the lower settings become available for use. The other most common issue I've seen recently is people updating to the latest NVIDIA driver and app but not seeing the override option. If that happens, try uninstalling and reinstalling the NVIDIA app. Make sure DLSS is enabled in the in-game settings in Tarkov and refresh the game list in the NVIDIA app. That should usually fix the issue. To wrap things up, Tarkov's DLSS 4 implementation is actually still a solid upgrade from the previous version which was DLSS 2, but it's still using an outdated preset. By manually updating to the latest version using the NVIDIA app override, you can get noticeably sharper visuals and probably even a slight FPS boost since you can run a lower setting while still getting better image quality. I definitely recommend giving it a try, especially if you want the best possible visuals in Tarkov. Plus you'll most likely see a performance boost as well. though this is is dependent on hardware and settings and that's all i got for this one if you got something out of this video drop a like share your thoughts in the comments and subscribe for more tarkov and hardware content thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one